A hunt is currently underway in the state of New York and beyond as the police search for the gunman who fired open fire in a subway in Brooklyn on Tuesday. At least 17 people were killed, pardon me, injured in the attack. Five of them are in critical but stable condition. Now in the latest, the New York Police Department has identified a person of interest in the case. The NYPD put out a picture of the man that they are looking for here. He is a 62-year-old and goes by the name of Frank James. Now here's what happened. A gunman wearing a gas mask set off a smoke bomb, opened fire in a New York subway car on Tuesday morning. Police say their person of interest rented a truck in Philadelphia. A key to the van was found in a collection of belongings. Police think belonged to the gunman. This included a handgun, three ammunition magazines, a hatchet fireworks and gasoline. Police commissioner said that the attack was not being viewed as a terror attack. The shooter's motive remains unknown. A dramatic eyewitness video captured the moment the smoking metro carriage opened and commuters spilled out. Most seemed disoriented and shocked, of course. Others were seen helping the injured. President Joe Biden, who is in Iowa at the moment, said that they will not let up till the perpetrator was found. And we're grateful for all the first responders who jumped into action, including civilians, civilians who didn't hesitate to help their fellow passengers and try to shield them. I haven't spoken to any of my staff, but we're not letting up on it till we find out and we find the, the perpetrator. Now, the incident comes just a day after U.S. President Biden announced a new gun control measure. Restrictions have been imposed on ghost guns. These are weapons that are difficult to trace and also can be assembled at home. And for more on this, we were earlier joined by Glenn Carl, who is a former intelligence officer and American writer from Boston. Let's listen in. There have been uh, countless laws proposed to regulate guns, from making it a requirement to register your gun, making it a requirement to have a pass a, a test, uh, have a background investigation before you own or purchase a gun, uh, to regulate the kinds of guns that one can own. Why, many people argue, should anyone other than a soldier, uh, the military, have a, an assault rifle? Uh, you don't need an assault rifle to hunt a rabbit or a deer. But for all of those points, which to me, frankly, seem beyond straightforward uh, and ju just obvious, uh, there have been counter arguments uh, that have then forced uh, a vote either in the U.S. Congress or in a state legislature uh, and uh, that have failed. And the courts, which have many conservative judges, uh, have frequently sided with the, quote, pro-gun lobby. Uh, so it's a social and legal mm -hmm. issue, political one, uh, which has paralyzed the government. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.